As I'm sure you know by now, I'm Rachel from Offroad CC, and today we will be looking at the six best mountain bikes that you can buy for under £2,000. All these bikes have been tried and tested by us, and so when we've tested them over the past year or so, they've all scored four out of five stars or more. So you can rest assured that we've ridden them, we've reviewed them, and we really like them. All of the reviews for these bikes are on our website, so that's www.off.road.cc. All you need to do is head over there and then put the name of the bike into the search bar and the review will come up. A few of these bikes also have reviews on YouTube, so head back over to our YouTube page and then have a look in the reviews section. And whilst you're there, check subscribe so you can find us again more easily. So let's get on with the best mountain bikes that you can buy for under £2,000. First up is the Vitus Mythique 29 VRS, and that's a bike that we also included in our best bikes under £1,500. It comes in at 1449 and it's so good that we thought we should include it here too. The Mythique is a 140mm 29er with a solid list of parts that not only make it a bargain at 1449 it rides well too. There's a 1x12 speed SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain which makes winching up steep climbs a doddle. There's an x and fork and shock, both of lockouts, and there's a dropper post as well. The bike is an excellent climber and it's really not that heavy at just over 32 pounds in its standard spec. Downhill, the Mythique is confidence inspiring and fun. It's good for cross country missions and more technical single track too. The best thing about the bias though, is that it's easily upgradable in time, making this a bike that is both an awesome and sensible buy. Next up and at the top of the price bracket is a Calibre Sentry, which is a long travel enduro brawler that we said rewrote the rule books for enduro bikes. The 150mm 29er is a full package. It's got great geometry and well thought out kit for a price that seems just too good to be true. It's a bike that will suit aggressive riders, it's stable, it's fast and if you want to get into enduro riding and racing it'll be a great partner. For your 2k you get a RockShox Yari fork, a Deluxe R-Shock, an NX Eagle drivetrain and Guide RE brakes. It's a bike you could ride on and jump straight away, or as with the Vitus, it's upgradable over time. Reviewed back in 2018 is the Boardman MTR 8.9, a bike that with 130mm travel that John says brings the same value that we expect from Boardman but with a step up in performance. As I said, our John reviewed this bike and he says it's a cracking mid-travel trail bike with beefed up suspension and improved geometry over those Boardman full suspension bikes of old. The MTR 8.9 is the most expensive bike in the range, coming in at 1,600 quid. But for that, you get a RockShox Revelation RC fork, a SRAM NX drivetrain, level T brakes and some decent tires too. The only thing is missing, there's a dropper post, but if your budget is too grand, then there's plenty of cash spare to buy one. All in all, John says this is a super bike by any standard, and at this money, it's an absolute steal. Next up is the Marin Rift Zone 2, the middle bike of a three bike range that really impressed us back in March of this year. It has slightly shorter travel at 125 mil, the Rift Zone does get progressive geometry and 29er wheels that make it a capable trail bike. Up front, there's a RockShox Recon RL fork, and at the back, there's a Deluxe Select R shock and an SX Eagle drivetrain, plus there's a dropper post, all for 1845. The Rift Zone 2 we tested did let itself down slightly by being on the heavy side at £34, but we reckon this is most likely in the wheels and tyres. Climbing is a little bit of a chore given the weight, but for everything else, the Marin was game and a hell of a lot of fun, making this bike affordable, upgradable again, and a good investment. The first and only hardtail of the bunch is the Ragley Piglet, a 130mm trail hardtail made from steel. John reviewed this bike and said that it offers confident handling and a solid selection of parts attached to the bike. Spec-wise, the Piglet gets a RockSox Revelation fork with a Shimano SLX group set, that's drivetrain and the brakes. There's decent tyres too from WTB attached to race face wheels. And ever with hardtails, they tend to be slightly better spec for your money over their full suspension counterparts. A Piglet will set you back £1,700, 
but for that you get a bike that offers an awful lot of fun whether you want to test your gravity fed skills or go for longer distances. The Merida 120 600 is the last bike on our list and another full suspension bike. Coming in at 2k, this one reaches the ceiling price again, but we reckon it's a great all-round trail bike with good geometry, good suspension and excellent trail manners. For the dollar, you get a RockShox Sector Fork, a Deluxe RL Shock, and elsewhere, there's a one by NX Eagle drivetrain and Shimano MT500 brakes. Plus, there's a drop post and decent Maxxis tyres. Dave, our tester, said that it would be easy to criticise the Merida for having a slightly conservative reach, that's in geometry figures, but the 120 produces good handling that's right at home, ripping up typical British single track, and it rarely feels outgunned by the terrain. Whether you're charging up, charging down, or across the landscape, he reckons it's a competent and capable bike. And that rounds up our six best mountain bikes for under £2,000. Like I said, all those reviews are available online on the website and a lot of them are on YouTube too. So next, before we move on to gravel bikes, I'm going to do the best mountain bikes for under £3,000. So check back for that soon. Thanks for watching.